Hey there, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's practice the Game of Thrones theme with call and response. I'll play something and then leave you a space to play it back. I have full instructions for the process in the description, but in a nutshell, this is a great way to learn, improve, or review a tune. Okay, so let's begin. Start by playing the C Aeolian scale on G3. Then the notes starting on open G. Playing the scale before the tune sets you up for success. Okay, now listen to the whole first quarter of the A part. One, two, three. Sound familiar? Good. Okay, now we'll break it down into little sub chunks, put those into bigger and bigger pieces until we have this whole thing. Call and response. Here we go. I will start with one, two, three. Let's do that again. Two, three, two, three. Your turn. Here's the next little piece. Your turn. Again. Awesome. Let's put those two sub chunks together into a bigger chunk. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Your turn. And again. Okay, let's move on to the second half of this part. So start with this little chunk. I'm gonna do. Your turn. And again. Now do that three times in a row. I'll do it once, leave you a space. And then add one little piece more. Let's put all this together. Listen once. And again. Okay, awesome. Thanks for hanging with me so far. We're now going to do it from the beginning to this point and you may need to rewind and review. Otherwise, let's keep going. Here we go. I'll play the whole first quarter and leave you a space to play it back. One, two, three. One, two, three.
One more time. Okay, awesome. So here are some practice tips before we move on. Again, if you didn't get any part of that, don't worry, just rewind and keep listening until you do, which leads to the second practice tip, which is don't feel obligated to do this in one session, especially if you're new to this. If you're new to learning by ear, you may only get one little piece today and that's okay. You just keep returning to it over time and your ear is going to keep learning this tune until it has the whole thing. And then the more you do this process, the faster you get. And then finally, a tip for more advanced players. If you find that this is pretty easy for you, make it a little harder by not looking at my left hand fingers. And then more generally, as a student, you always want to find that perfect level of challenge when playing anything. So that it kind of keeps you engaged and you, you fail a little bit and you succeed a little bit and you keep going. All right, so now let's move on to the what I call the second quarter. Oh, and one thing about the first quarter again, it repeats as the third quarter. So if you feel like you have a lot, there's a lot, you know, you're already a lot of the way there if you've learned that. Okay, so listen to the whole second quarter fast, and then I'll break it down with call and response. One, so one quick note, this part, which is contained in this, is also the introduction. Okay, but let's go now. I'm going to play a part slowly and leave you a space to play it back. One little piece more. Again. Let's put these pieces together for the second quarter. Now we'll do the second part of this. So we're gonna start with a little bit, a little small chunk, which is. Here's that again. Now do that three times in a row, I will call. Add one little bit to that. Again. Putting together this whole part. Now 
Carl put together the entire second quarter of the A part. Again. Okay, so the third quarter is the same as the first. I'll do that again. I'm just, I'll just play it to remind you, and if you feel like working on it, you can pause the video, but here it is. And now I wanna do the fourth quarter, which is pretty much the second quarter, but there's a slightly different rhythm. Listen to the whole fourth quarter and notice how it's similar to the second. So there's one little difference. So I'm gonna play the first half of what I just did. And so it's this. And so what I want to do is just do one little piece that, that's kind of a tricky rhythm. We're going to go. Your turn. Let's slow it down slightly. Now we're going to do what came before it into that. And this is where it might be a little challenging with the rhythm. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try it again. One more thing, let's loop this maybe three times together. I think it'll help you to hear it and try it. So one, two, three. And then what comes next is the same as the, the ending of the second quarter. So let's do this whole part. I'll call and leave you space to respond. I will now slowly play the entire A part. One, two, three.
part. La, 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 la. Okay, if you want to learn the B part to the Game of Thrones theme with call and response or the more traditional tutorial, then follow the link to the Fiddlehead site. It's available for free. You can take it there. I also have some sheet music and some audio loops to help you get this. And if you like the way I teach, maybe sign up for a two-week free trial to Fiddlehead. You'll get a lot out of it, I guarantee it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have fun playing this really great melody. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.